Julia Fox is an actress and model who made her breakthrough into the mainstream in 2019 opposite Adam Sandler in the critically acclaimed film Uncut Gems. Since then, she's probably most notorious for being the first lady Kanye West dated after splitting from his ex-wife, Kim Kardashian. With a reputation like that, many of Julia's fans assumed that she was living in the lap of luxury. Well, the truth has turned out to be a little bit different than that. In fact, Julia Fox might very well be the one celebrity in the world who lives just like the rest of us. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In late January of 2023, Julia hopped onto TikTok to film a tour of her New York City apartment. And let's just say, I highly doubt Architectural Digest will be breaking down her front door to beg her for a photo shoot. But at the very least, Julia's upfront about her two bedroom spread that she shares with her son Valentino being less than what everyone no doubt imagined. And in the interest of being as transparent as possible, she was still willing to share a darn near every nook and cranny that the place has to offer. Having previously lived in a one bedroom apartment in Italy with her entire family before making the move to the United States at the age of six, the child and Julia must have immediately related to the layout of her New York City apartment. The space contains only two bedrooms and a living room that Julia has transformed into an extra bedroom for herself. As you could see from the footage, Julia's former living space is littered with photos of her friends and loved ones, most of which decorate what Julia refers to as her nostalgia mirror, adorned not only with memories of her past, but also the ashes of one of her best friends who passed away. There's also a whole bunch of Valentino's toys and an endless supply of skincare products scattered about the room. Julia turned her living room into where she sleeps at night because she wanted to let Valentino use the unit's original bedroom as his own. In fact, his bedroom is the one spot in her entire apartment that she claims to have put the most amount of work into by loading it up with bookcases, stuffed animals, a white loft style bed, and a cool looking train set. Not that Valentino winds up spending all that much time there, mind you, because more often than not, he sleeps in the same bed as Julia. As for the smaller of the two bedrooms that the apartment originally came with, it's since become Valentino's playroom, complete with a bunch of toys and a massive TV. You can find those rooms down a length of cluttered hall lined with numerous knickknacks and an image of two Barbie dolls that also leads to Julia's a tiny bathroom. Inside the washroom, the towels are mismatched, more of Valentino's toys are floating in the tub, pink scrunchie has been stored on top of the tap, and to complete the look, a bottle of Aesop hand wash that retails for more than anything else I've seen. Next up is the kitchen, which in keeping with the theme of the day, finding things you'd never expect to find in a supermodel's house, boasts a cotton candy machine alongside something you would definitely expect to find, a never ending number of empty shoe boxes. Julia ends the tour by revealing one little tidbit of information that would probably drive a number of us from her home faster than you could say reckless abandon. As it turns out, Julia's got herself a little bit of a rodent problem, and it's not something that really bothers her all that much because Ratatouille or whatever she calls it helps her out with the housework apparently. After revealing more information about her lifestyle than I think anyone was prepared to hear, the internet became obsessed with this impromptu tour and pushed it to over 10 million views on TikTok. Following which the internet set about divulging its thoughts. For whatever reason, Julia's apartment, which honestly probably looks much more like the majority of our homes than it doesn't, got the internet all hot and bothered. While some users welcomed Julia's upfront honesty and found comfort in the fact that she lived not unlike they themselves do, others had more fun imagining what it must have been like for Kanye West of all people to enter that apartment and take a look at it for himself. Others, of course, simply celebrated the fact that their own homes were far tidier than a certified celebrity's apartment. As for Julia herself, she had absolutely no idea that her little tour was going to get so much attention, and after soaking in everyone's reaction, she eventually responded with some thoughts of her own. Julia Fox would follow up on her viral moment with yet another TikTok that would clarify a few key points. First, in response to the idea that she was worth somewhere in the ballpark of $30 million, she promised her fans that that was simply not the case. 
For what it's worth, according to Celebrity Net Worth, Julia is only estimated to have earned about $1 million throughout the course of her still relatively young career. And sure, there's probably a world in which Julia Fox could own a nicer apartment in New York City than the one she currently does. But here's the thing. According to the model herself, she wants her son to grow up in the real world. As for why she's chosen to stick around in this apartment even after her career has begun to take off, the answer is simple. This was the home that she returned to from the hospital after giving birth to her son Valentino, meaning it's the only home that he's ever known and as such, it holds a lot of sentimental value for Julia. This breathtaking beauty also took the time to debunk the rumor that since she lives in such a small place, she must spend all her money on designer clothes to model on the runway. Look, if you know anything about celebrities, then you should also know that they don't always pay to wear the clothes that they showcase. More often than not, they're being sent these items for free, or at least on loan. But at least Julia found solace in those fans that were nice enough to lend her supportive comments after seeing her place firsthand. Finding out that so many people could relate to her living situation really seemed to warm her heart. All right, everyone, that'll bring this latest house door to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's somewhat unique episode. And before you head out, consider answering the following question. If you were living in Julia Fox's New York City apartment, what's the first area that you'd update? I can't lie, I might have to deal with that mouse issue before anything else, but I'm not sure. Let me know what you do in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name's Care the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another one. Bye!